here on BTS Smash, uh, very own Twitch channel, by the way, which uh, I actually think might be a first for Sweet Spot Gaming. I'm not too sure. Uh, for me. Sweet Spot, I believe this is the second time we've used BC BTS, the other being the Arizona Melee Championship, which we ran back in, uh, I want to say, February. But here, Look you know, you we got Eclipse, doubles top four. We got Onin and Ekidona versus Kronos and Shu. Obviously, Kronos and Shu piloting their uh, remarkable characters. And then we got Onin and Eki. Eki actually picking up the pocket. Uh, or I would say the pocket slash secondary, pocket Steve. Steve. Yeah. And then we got, of course, Onin with the, uh, the main, of course. So already some high damaging areas right now. What I've been seeing previously, right, is Onin has been kind of like the stock tanker in right. these past few doubles matches off stream where Onin is just kind of keeping the stocks going and Eki is chipping at damage, kind of running in full force like, hey, I'm just going to do all the damage and we'll see what happens, right? And, and you can see that throughout like these matches too, especially since I've seen him uh, run in a couple of matches on the loser's end of things too. So I kind of see like what you're putting down so far already in previous games. But you guys will be seeing it too here very shortly um, just because uh, you would think, and I mean, I wouldn't blame you for thinking that, like, you know, you see two Steves, you're like, oh, they're both just going to play Steve, and that's the plan. Yeah. And you know what? For some matchups, you could probably get away with that. But yeah. as you can see, man, Kronos and Shu, they're definitely pulling some weight on their end as well. Uh, I have pointed out on the previous stream where I was commentating, actually, these two players as well, uh, Kronos and Shu prior, um, they play off each other very well. Yes. But they both know the, uh, their own character strengths and they know how to pull their own weight if they're in a 2v1 situation or if they have to you know bounce two people off of them or something along those lines yeah uh, they can pull their own weight as well just playing their characters as well as they do no for sure and like one of the things that they're highly aware of right is snake can kind of be combo food in some of these doubles matches right yeah he's that tall character that has somewhat long hitboxes and he's easy to combo That's and especially true. if you get snake off stage he becomes a kind of exploitable and very punishable right so right. as we've seen previously right Shu has been kind of keeping eye on that the entire time like oh my god snake is getting carried up into the blast zone with an up air combo right yeah let me just go ahead and drop in and help him out right so that's kind of some of the stuff we've been seeing and of course Kronos has the ability and awareness to be able to, you know, parry stuff when necessary, turn around, up tilt, and seal those stocks when it's needed. And right now, it's actually paying off for them. You know, Snake slash Kronos at 95% on the second stock. And, of course, Eki and Onin needing to play a little bit of catch-up here. Yeah, quite a bit, I would say. I mean, they're both on one stock of pop here. Uh, only have so many mats to work with in terms of actually upgrading their armor to be able to do, like, you know, that... A trademark damage that they right. are known for being able to put out. Um, you know, a lot of it comes from the anvils, a lot of it comes from the lava and the TNT, and you can go down the list. But what's yeah. really going to be getting those, you know, really damaging, heavy damage BMBs out there is going to be those powered up tools. Right. So whether or not they're going to be able to get these gold tools out in play, or maybe even some diamonds that I'm starting to see here pile up, uh, whether or not they'll get the time to actually build those up and apply those into some, you know, really applicable damage. Let's go ahead and find out here, because uh, yep. now we're all at one stock of pop here. Yep. Oh, but um, Eki going to go ahead and lose their last stock to the C4 and the wow. combo to finish it off. That is what we call team awareness right there, man. That is that is literally teamwork, like, to the like first degree, right? That, yep. that is when you have studied these, like, setups. You've studied how to combo your opponents, right? I mean, just the stuff we see right here. Watch, like, just check this out. Small That's little exactly there. Like, I know you're going to air dodge backwards off of this minecart, right? Like, when you're in minecart, you have a few options, right? You right. either... This opponent's going to get scared, or you're going to try to jump off that minecart, and I'm going to be ready for that minecart, hit you with that nair into that snake up to it, because I already know Kronos is setting up, ready to take that stock, right? And that's what I wanted to point out early, so that way there would be no surprises when we got around to that part of the match, because I was telling you, they play off of each other very well, and that's just yep. one of many examples that I've already seen just tonight, but honestly. My, but my guy, you can't take away the surprise, bro. That's true. I kind of did like, spoil it. That is yeah, that's a spoiler, dog. Uh, yeah, you're you're leaking, the script, you're leaking I, the script, bro. You're leaking the script. I'm kind of leaking the script. But, hey, not even I know the ending to this match because, uh, hey, if Onin and Eki have shown anything today is that they know how to make these meta characters work their wonders. Oh, for sure. I mean, these are all characters that are high up there on the tier list, right? I mean, they have their strengths, but these are all masters of their crafts in their yeah. characters, respectively. Of course, Onin being one of the top Steves in the world. Uh, Kronos, top Snake. Shu, top ZSS. Um, and then, of course, Ekidona pocketing uh, the Steve right now. With, oh, my, look at that. My Knowing God, the bread and butter. Bro. You've got to know that bread and butter, right? Absolutely you have to know that bread and butter. Bro. It's disgusting, but you have to know it if you want to continue That's to do well. That's that wonder <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you will not catch me eating that, but it's bread, all right. I'll give you that it much. Is, it is bread. That's that wonder bread, man. That's that, uh, that ain't the Texas bread that I like, know and love. That's not my Texas toast. That's, that's not my Texas toast. I don't know what y'all are talking about. 
But yeah, all right. So already here, uh, Onan and Eki both up a stock. It is six to four stocks at the current moment. So it's the, okay. Nice little fair edge guard to uh, seal the deal on Onan's stock right there. Eki now being the oh, tank. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Literally, Shu is like, all right, that's one speed. I'm gonna go get the other one real quick. You gotta like pull out yourself. Yeah, I got you, Oh, they're, they're in the lead. Okay, bet. Watch this. What? Watch this. Watch. <laughs> It's like, that, it's like that Usher meme, just like, watch this. <laughs> watch this. <laughs> there we go, nice setup with the minecart as well. Oh, blocking on the magma block. Spending a little bit of shield in order to do so, keeping a low profile, went up against. Uh, Pablo is definitely for Eki, right? Yeah, for Pablo right? is Eki. Uh, I don't know who Pablo is, but uh, maybe I will ask them who Pablo is after this. Uh, after this set, because I am curious. Create a great life. But, <laughs> yeah. Life of Pablo. For the life of Pablo, you know what I'm saying? But, we, we don't, uh, you know what, never mind. <laughs> okay, Odin able to, to recover with that nice little glide. Doing a whole bunch of setups right there to take the stocks, but nice uh, chase down up there to seal the deal right there from Odin. You know what, Shu has been chasing and hounding Odin like crazy this match. Yes. Like, I think I think Shu might have picked, I think she might have picked up on what Odin is trying to do and like save the stocks. And Shu is like, hey, I'm just gonna take it upon myself to go deal with that, right? Oh, I mean, uh, as Shu definitely should, because I mean, she's playing the character who definitely has like the footwork to keep up with. Oh yeah. Really name the character. Yeah, see, look, at every single time a Steve dies, it's just shoot just like giving them the boot you know right like, giving them that like i don't know how i feel like she wears tims bro like sometimes i wear zss has tims because no. like she's canonically what like six feet like six she's five small. she's six foot five bro imagine like that tim coming to your face like that's what that, I'm saying, that is bro. a large shoe stomping you out bro listen man i don't know what you're trying to put in my head the image of a uh, winning Jeez. Hey man, why are you taking it like this? Why are you taking it? Hey bro, like listen man. Boy, man. We, we've been on here for like ten, we've been on here ten, ten minutes. You and we already doing this. I'm describing on, the bro. image you gave me. You, gave, you put <laughs> this in my head. Oh, and now you put that oh. pickaxe in his head. Yeah, that is a He's pickaxe to today. You ain't surviving a pickaxe today. A diamond pickaxe, man. No, bro, like, hold that forever. The only thing cutting diamond is diamond, and that snake's cranium getting cut in half by hold a diamond. So that, that is, that is yeah, you got to hold that. I, I apologize. But, <laughs> yeah, that is a good answer, a great answer, actually, from Onan and Eki. Responding back from that uh, game one set. Now it is tied 1-1. One, one, uh, I'm wondering what the game plan is, man. Like, uh, of course, we saw a lot of uh, shoot, doing a lot of damage, taking a lot of those stocks, and it seemed like, uh, but it seemed like Eki and Onan were still holding their own, right? Like, they still knew, right. like, hey, you know, regardless of what's happening, we still got this. You know? Exactly, like, yeah. We, we, there's nothing to worry about, really. Their spirits are still there. The spirit is that's still there. That's what really counts. Right. That's the spirits are not see. on, but the spirits are still there. That's true. You don't have to have spirits on to have spirits enabled. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Spirits don't have to be on to be enabled, you feel me? But, all right, let's see here. Okay, got a lot of whiffs going on over here. You are switching to small battlefield. Yeah, what small battlefield. Um, now, when I think about this stage in particular, um, as a counter pick, I think Snake really likes this stage. Uh, ZSS can kind of just operate it on, on the same, like, situation of um, PS2 almost. But look at that. Wow. Shu just taking care of Eki stock immediately. I don't care how many times you're going to recover. I am going to be here with a nice little forward air and seal that first stock. That's exactly how Most the last days. game ended, uh, like began, remember? Right. It was Shu just kind of hounding down either one of the Steves and taking the stock immediately. That's just her win condition, man. That is her win condition. Not much else to really uh, say on that note. That's okay, Onan in a little bit of running. trouble here, but able to recover. Shu still putting in some edge guards, going for the down smash. It's not going to work out just yet. Misses the tech. Getting surrounded by Steve's here. Able to recover. Cronus coming in to help out. Throwing out that Nikita. Eki not able to escape just yet. Oh, oh wow, okay. Yeah. I think, I the, think the worst case scenario that up tilt would have clanked with the uh, anvil, but possible, your yeah. body is not clanking with up tilt. You're just going to oh. die from that. So. Yeah, you're just going to die. Yeah. So it's either a hit or it didn't. It looks like it did. Yeah, so, I mean, I think what the last stage was, uh, play, uh, I almost said PlayStation 2, uh, <laughs> Pokemon Stadium 2. I see that all the time. Yeah, I, I, it, I mean, it's PS2, man. But, uh, of course, right here, yep, that back here actually going to seal the deal on Kronos' first stock. And we're even here, 4-4, four to four, just going right back to it. Eki getting in some big damage with this up tilt to fair. 
And I think this is a, I honestly want to say that this is probably a pick for Kronos, because obviously if you put down that C4, uh, right, you can kind of, you can kind of put, like, force people into an exact area, right? right? You put down a C4 on one platform, now the Steves can't really be occupying that platform. They can't really build under that platform and camp as much as they want to, right? Yeah, as much as they will so want to. So now, of those options. yeah, I mean, it is literally optimized. Like, look at that. Like, now we're seeing, like, Eki, 104%, close to kill percent. And as much as Kronos really wants to, he can just kind of chill, throw out up to underneath the platforms, throw out that C4, and it just becomes who's going to get to that platform and optimize it for their, I, I wouldn't say camping, but optimize it for their advantage. For their know? advantage, yeah. yeah. No. But, and you know what? Say it as it is, bro, so they can camp them back. I mean, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I definitely agree with that, yeah. Yeah. Give them what's for. Get them with their own tag, you yeah, know? Get them with their own tag. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Gotta do that sometimes. Okay. Be fire with fire. Okay. Can't beat them. Join them. I can go down the list of Can't beat them. Join them. Exactly. All right. I see no reason not to. Shoot, gonna probably take. Oh, oh wow. 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 Yeah. A little bit of a parry interference right there. Wow. Okay. Kronos went very awesome. deep for that. Oh my God. Ooh. The minute you go very deep though, that is the worst thing you can do because if you go deep versus Steve, right? Steve can literally just go limit into creative you. mode. Yeah. Let me go into creative mode. You're not coming back. Now we're gonna build a whole wall, and you cannot get over it. Oh, <laughs> It's true, you know. I mean, it's just a wall. I mean, oh, wait a minute. But Shu making oh, the comeback here. Oh, my no. God. Whipping the up smash. Shu can actually pull this off. Now that 43%. Oh, oh, wait a minute. What? Did you see? Hold on. the I, shield drop? I, yeah, I need a replay of that because literally, right, Shu shielded the first hit of the minecart. Yeah. The minecart bounced off the wall and then re-grabbed Shu. Oh, my goodness, bro. Like, I... Yeah, this calls that, for some that is like, production. I, I know uh, there's frame traps, right? Yeah, but what is. is even this? Like, check this out, That's right? Out. Like, of course, shoe goes off. I'm taking that stock, right? Now you're stuck here. Okay, can't reach you with the up smash. All right, okay, let me regain and my ground. Uh, adjust his glasses like he's a Yu-Gi-Oh! character. Right there. Said, well, actually, oh. and then just hits him with this. Okay, never, I guess there, was there a block there? Oh, or was that Steve's railing? Okay, that, that was just yeah, Steve's railing, I guess. So either way, oh it bounced off the wall God. and then grabbed Shu. So not a secondary grab, but Shu still got caught, you know, unfortunately holding shield. And, uh, you know, Onan and Eki are going to go ahead and seal That's uh, awesome, that buddy. game as well. That is absolutely wild, man. Hey, man. Sometimes the shenanigans are just always going to be there. Jump All right. Away. Watch your step this time around, bro. Yeah. This could be a pretty... I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, man. It looks like uh, coming off of that last game, it really just seems like uh, Onaneki are really in the groove now. Oh, look at this! All right, actually, it looked like Kronos was struggling a little bit, but up. Oh, okay, first. yeah, that up smash definitely gonna kill Snake at 111. It doesn't even matter how heavy you are. But uh, yeah, it looked like Kronos was struggling a little bit at first, but that nice little uh, forward air is going to kind of seal the deal. Wow, wait a minute. I just saw Snake be able to crouch underneath the jab from Steve right there. So oh, that might be some uh, some tech to uh, combat the Steve menace uh, oh, later on yeah. in this meta. No, oh, yeah, that could end up being a surprise tool. A surprise tool, baby. There we go. And I mean, hey, right. there's still like uh, three whole games for Onan and Eki to kind of, you know, pull out. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, we don't have enough to score. Yeah, it's we'll supposed to be one on one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I say. I was like, hmm. Something don't look right. Yeah, um, I mean, either way, though. Oh, okay, he got it, he got it. Yeah, we got it. But, yeah, all right. So, Onin has been uh, getting a couple of these up smashes in, and no way. Wow, that bro. killed Snake sub 90, I'm pretty sure. But I, it was either 90 or, like, 95 or something like that. But That's, that is crazy. That was just some otherworldly DI. That is insane. But, unfortunately, that stock from Eki is not going to get taken. Shu actually missing the second up B attempt right there. Oh no, okay, going for the wall tech. Nice Dude, recovery. That oh, was yeah. so crazy. That was slick as all Bro, hell. That was like slick. That was a whole ass like, Minecraft parkour challenge to just to get to him, man. Right? I mean, hey, hey, when, you, when you're playing that? Minecraft, you gotta play Minecraft too in order to win no, sometimes, you really man. Do. Oh, oh wait God, a minute, dude. Some of this is crazy. Okay, the edge guarding set up, ridiculous. She was trying to save Kronos off stage, and unfortunately, she lost the stock herself. Now Onan playing a little bit of this uh, bait oh, game. Oh, man, this is looking like some, like, pro-level, like, Bed Wars type gameplay, you know that? <laughs> you know that? <laughs> oh, my God, bro. It's looking like a, like a Minecraft tournament okay. for real. The, uh, the dash attack from Eki not going to seal the deal on Kronos' last stock here. Kronos has to play a game of, oh my god, oh my I was going to say, Kronos literally cannot land on any of the Steve's shield, right? If, if you land on Steve's shield, it's just going to be an up smash. You got and, a that, you know, but, all right, now Shu playing a dangerous game. I mean, literally, what do you do when there is two Steve's 
grinding for minecart, throwing side B's at you, not allowing you to just do anything. Right? I don't even like, know, man. ZSS has the mobility to do this, but like, do you have the kill power and do you have oh, the options? No! Unfortunately, you don't. And Onin and Eki going up. Yeah, no. three, was it was that 3-1 or 3-0? That was 3-0. 3-0? Okay, yeah, that was yeah. left 2-0 uh, in-game. Yeah, so, all right, man. Onin and Eki just making their sweep happen. Uh, we're going to go ahead, like, <laughs> I guess we're going to go ahead and get the next game up. But, I mean, valiant effort from Kronos and Shu. Obviously, you saw the teamwork there. You saw the team compatibility. You saw the awareness. But, I mean, there's just something different when you're, you know,